Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm Juliette Ciaboto and I'm the founder of Ford Institute and Ford University where we design trainings and programs with you in mind. So this video I'm going to just cover what is hypnosis. This is part of a series where I answer the five main things that I've been receiving or the five questions or types of questions and topics that I've been coming across not only on YouTube but within my DMs on Twitter and Instagram. So this way you guys can watch this series and really know what hypnosis is and how it can help you or how it relates to your life. So first of all, um, we need to talk about how powerful the mind actually is. Um, we are taught by society that, every, that we need to depend on outside things or outside influence or other people in order to get what we want or to succeed the way that we want to succeed, which isn't the case. You are stronger than you think and, it, and your mind is really responsible for everything that you see and everything that happens to you um, specifically your subconscious mind not your and I don't want you to mistake your mind for your brain it's an organ um, your subconscious mind um, is responsible for 95% of what happens in your life on autopilot and it's running your life based on things that have happened to you and your reactions to those things um, throughout your life. So if it sees you, for example, whenever it sees you looking at money or someone with money in distaste, then it's going to say, oh, they, uh, Juliet does not like money, so we need to keep her far away from that. It's like, wait, no, I do. I don't know why I'm reacting that way. So it's really important that you look within yourself subconsciously and start thinking about what you believe and why you think the way you do so you can adjust that and act accordingly and then you'll start to see a huge difference in your life. And it may sound that it's easier said than done. You can do this um, with um, journaling, affirmations, uh, shifting your identity, who you see yourself as, so then it just affects your um, thoughts, your beliefs, values and your thoughts which affect your behavior and then your results and how you live your life. Um, hypnosis it really just makes it easier for you to communicate those suggestions and those thoughts and ideas to your subconscious mind clearly and in less time so that you could get the results that you want. Because what when you if you were to look at your subconscious mind and your conscious mind you could say picture a newsroom for example a large newsroom your subconscious mind is at the back of the newsroom and it's responsible for putting out the paper with information and the stories at a particular time and you guys have to hit the deadline but you the subconscious mind needs to send the subconscious mind this information and so the subconscious mind can be another version of you. And you're trying to walk through this crowded newsroom, but then you see doubt, Debbie Downer, or um, Doubting Thomas, or um, Hungry Harry, or Hor Horny, <laughs> Horny Helen, and you get all these people and all these things that are blocking your way to get you the right message and right information to your subconscious so they can put out the paper which is the paper represents your goal. So what hypnosis does, it pauses the busy newsroom, clears a path, so you, the conscious you, can have a clear path to the subconscious you and to hand them the information, the articles, all the information that you need to put out at the right time and hit your deadline. That's all it does. It's, you're not unconscious. <laughs> You're awake, you're present, you hear everything, you see everything. Even um, the stage hypnosis shows, they pick people that are more likely to act for the crowd. These people want to be hypnotized. All hypnosis is self-hypnosis. No one can hypnotize you unless you want to be hypnotized. You are stronger and more controlled than you think. 
if you ever have heard a story or instance where people have been suggested or hypnotized into doing something, um, they were more um, apt to do that based on certain preconditioning or pre instances or instances before that actual session. So that could be done through um, torture or other mind stuff, but just straight hypnosis. I've never met you until today. I can't just hypnotize you. So it's really important to note that you need to be more likely to go in that direction that the hypnosis session is taking you. So during a hypnosis session, we basically talk about what your goals are, your issues that you're having, and then we induce you into a state where your brain waves go down to delta. And so when your brain waves slow down, we're able to really communicate directly with your subconscious. And so with this direct line of communication, we can make it clear to your subconscious mind the goals, the states, the emotions, the behaviors, everything, who you really are to it and what you want them to focus on. You're actually going to be able to reset your reticular activating system to start focusing on things that are going to get you closer to your goal. So then when you come back from hypnosis, your, your conscious mind can start to get to work, but your subconscious mind is going to help them get that work done. Because when you're working with your con just your conscious mind, you're just working with your pinky. When you incorporate your subconscious mind into the goal, then you're working with your full hand and the work is so much easier and that's what creates alignment. That's when you'll start to see opportunities, you'll start to get certain information or ideas that bring you closer to your goal and bring you closer to where you want to be. And this, this alignment comes from your subconscious so then it hits all points of your life mental emotional spiritual physical alignment because you spoke directly to your subconscious you made the clear communication of what you really truly want reset the old programs or old emo release the negative emotions that you had previously and to order to reset all of that and to focus on a goal so Hypnosis is just slowing down your brain waves in order for you to have a clear line of communication to your subconscious mind in order to address a certain issue, a certain behavior, or a certain identity. So based on the, t the goal for the hypnosis, that is going to reflect your results. So if you're just going to a hypnosis session just to stop smoking, then you're going to stop smoking. If you're going to hypnosis session to shift your identity, then you will actually shift your identity. And then you, when you shift your identity, that's going to help you shift your beliefs, your thoughts, your um, values, your behavior, your values, your thoughts, your behavior, and then that affects your results. So hypnosis can change your life. It just has to be done properly and in a way that's really going to give you the changes that you want. It's not going to, it's not just like an easy button. Um, it's really something that is very deep. You get very deep and to do the work to help facilitate the work that you're going to, to do once you come out of hypnotherapy. That's why I combine hypnosis with NLP and other um, change work. And so, I'll create another video talking about NLP, but NLP has over 100 techniques. Um, these are mindset techniques and strategies to get you to um, help change your beliefs, change your states, and this is facilitated with hypnosis. So it's just a stronger potent combination that can, if you've tried anything else, if you tried to work with just coaches and just something, those blocks have gotten in the way, hypnosis is able to find the source of this block, the true source of this block, and then remove it or release it. And then that gives you the path to consciously work on what you had intended because that block is no longer there. And so that is what hypnosis is. It's just a clear line of communication to your subconscious in order to give it directions that you really want to give it to hit a goal and direction that you really want to go. 
Um, I like to say that the difference between meditation and hypnosis is that meditation is like sending an email newsletter to your subconscious. It's just like, oh, positive thoughts, happy, 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 happy. But hypnosis is a handwritten letter delivered right at the door. It's like the hair. This is specifically for you and this is what I want done. So it's just a targeted way to be able to create that subconscious shift and to help you make conscious decisions. Um, you're not unconscious, you're not asleep, uh, you're very present and awake, you're just now open and quieting all the other distractions so you can really set your focus on your true goals and live the life that you really want. If you have any other questions about hypnosis, you can put them down below. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe. Um, I'm also available for questions on Twitter or Instagram at Juliet C. Oboto. Thanks so much and um, check out the other videos for more on more information on hypnosis.